So I've had my D1 Pro for about a year now and it has found a permanent place in my shop. It's always at the ready and I use it quite often. About six months ago, I bumped it from 20 watts to 40 watts and that was a really good upgrade if you're looking for a little more power. Now it's time to upgrade again. And this time it's going to be big, so stick around. Hey, it's Steve here and welcome back to my shop. Now, if you have a typical diode laser and many of us on this channel do, it's probably in the 400 to 450 millimeter square range. And it doesn't matter because no, eventually you're gonna run into a job that's too big for your laser and it, you're gonna have to do something. And really the only option right now is you do your work, then you move the laser or the material, realign, hope for the best, and try the second half of your, of your work. It doesn't always work and it's very problematic. And if you're in a business like I am where you do a lot of weird custom work, including a lot of really big signs, it's just not gonna work. So there has to be a better way. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what I did to my D1 Pro to create, uh, to put the extensions on it and uh, show you what it can do as a result. Now I got the side rails from Xtool and what they do is replace the existing side rails and increase the, the depth of the laser, the, 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 the Y axis effectively uh, to 930 millimeters, which is around twice as much as what's currently there. And uh, of course, in order to put these on, you have to literally disassemble your laser down to nuts and bolts. And now we can do a quick flyover of our vast expanse of workspace now. And just for comparison, I'll drop the original rail in here so you can see the difference in size. Quite dramatic. Now I also got the honeycomb, so I'll install that. And it comes with a big plate for the bottom to protect whatever surface your laser is running on. And then on top of that, you can drop the actual honeycomb. It's quite heavy, so uh, you need to be a bit careful, but it drops in there and it looks really nice when it's done. The workspace also comes with these uh, groovy little clamps. They, they're basically a magnet with a plate on them and you can just drop them into the workspace and they clamp right down uh, to remove them, pop the wire up and just give them a pull and they come right out. It's an amazing design and uh, it's something you're gonna love because it's low profile and it won't hit the laser as the laser's passing by. With that, I started a, a big job. I dropped down a piece of cardboard here to cut out a sign. Uh, this is actually the sign I'm holding in the thumbnail. Uh, it's a real sign, I didn't digitize it or anything. Uh, it's about 33 inches tall, so that's around 840 millimeters. And it took about an hour to do this uh, on cardboard. So, uh, you know, pretty big job and in the end, uh, it looks great and uh, you can see why you'd want to use this this type of uh, workspace. Now this isn't really a test of the laser, I've already done that in a couple of different reviews, but I did want to really test out the honeycomb. So what I did was set up a material test and I purposely started uh, at very slow rate uh, just to ensure that there was going to be potential for lots of charring and flash on the back of the material just to see how well the honeycomb actually impacted that. And uh, you can see from the result here that uh, it was actually very good on both sides. Uh, there was very little charring, very little flash. Now with basic cutting under control, I decided to create an actual real project. And what I did was create a, a tall skinny porch sign and it just says, welcome, it's nothing fancy. So it's, a, it's a, a sign that will be 141 millimeters wide and 819, 820 millimeters tall. And the blue here represents just an outline. I drew a quick outline on the, on the plate so that I can see where the letters will actually go. And then on the right hand side here, I have the actual letters that'll get cut out. So just a very quick look here. I shot this over to the D1 Pro. I'm gonna cut the outline first and then I'll cut out the individual letters and finally I'll mount them on, on the plate itself. And you can see why the outlines there were so important. And just drop them on and when it's finally finished, it'll look something like this and it can be painted later. All right, so who is this for? Well, if you're a small business owner like I am, uh, you can make those signs. I showed you making the sign here that I used in the thumbnail. Uh, you know, if you're making port signs, you can now make them uh, 
twice as big as before. You don't have to make them in two pieces. Uh, maybe you're in the coaster business and you just want to do a whole lot of one thing at a time. So you can load up the whole workspace here, twice as many coasters as you were doing before. That gives you time to go off and focus on something else while it's engraving. Um, if you're a hobbyist, uh, maybe you, you fly radio control planes and you design your own. Now you can build wings that are twice as big as you could before. Uh, so there's, there's lots of uses for it. Now, where are the challenges? Well, it's big. Uh, now, you're buying into that fact when you buy the extension package. So it shouldn't come as a surprise that it takes a lot of room. But I had a, a dedicated spot on my workbench that was just perfect for it. It's now half the size that it needs to be, so I either need to make that piece of my workbench bigger, or I need to hang the laser on the wall when I'm not using it and, and then bring it out. But that means I have to clean off the rest of my workbench so I have a place to put it. Anyway, it, it's just one of those things to consider. Now, a bit about the honeycomb. The honeycomb is absolutely the best honeycomb I've ever seen. It's all steel, so it's magnetic. You can, you can stick magnets to it to hold things down. It comes with those great little clamps that they provide. Uh, if, you, if you get the extensions, I would say absolutely get these rails. All right, I'll of course put links to all of the bits I've talked about here in this video, as well as a link to the D1 Pro if you don't already have one of those and you're interested. Uh, those are affiliate links, so if you use those, you're helping out the channel. Uh, if you haven't seen the original review I did on the D1 Pro, uh, I'll put a link up above here. And with that, we can wind down, uh, get out there, make your world, and I'll see you next time.